funny since I was legit. Ever since I blew, they all on my Hey, back then, they no. One time for the old times in the East Bay. It's the coach. This is our second of two here on this opening Monday night. Coming up, the Oakland Raiders. a loss of three right away and it's second down I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M and all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback but what impressed me his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game as we just saw there got his man that's Tyrell Williams that one good for 13 and a Raider first down Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Peterman. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Brian Grant, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, unless there's a postseason meeting later in the year, this is most likely the final time that the Broncos and Raiders will play in Oakland. Of course, so much history between the two since their inaugural season in the AFL back in 1960. Broncos and Raiders, they've been locked together in the same division, facing off twice a season. And this rivalry also stands as the most common pairing for Monday night games like we have here 18 times, the most of any two teams. Peterman now to throw on third down. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening. Throwing now, Peterman on first down, being chased out left. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Play action, it's Peterman. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run it. Here's Martin. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Go now. My 18 gator. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. Now. After the interception, here's Peterman escaping the pressure right. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Peterman. This is caught by Antonio Brown. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now it's Peterman. Now he'll pull it down. 
The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 50. in a first. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Oakland, the homestanding Raiders with the football here. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate down with a live, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Yard touchdown grab. First and ten, it's Peterman. Got a man, it's Brown. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. After the sack on first down, Peterman under pressure again, and down he goes again. The man who won a Super Bowl MVP award across the bay in Santa Clara, Von Miller, able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Here's Peterman to throw. This is caught. It's Ryan Brand. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Bye. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Adam Gatsis, the Aussie, with a sack. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Well, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Third and long, it's Peterman. And he locates Luke Wilson. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 33. Wilson gives Oakland a veteran option at tight end. Remember, they had Jared Cook last year. He's now in New Orleans. But Wilson, five years in Seattle, then one in Detroit before the native of Windsor, Canada, signed with Oakland back in March. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Peterman to throw. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. That one goes for 30 yards. From the shotgun, Peterman looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. But it'll be second and goal. 
The line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Now it's Peterman. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Tyrell Williams in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown. They'll throw on first down with Peterman. Eluding the pressure right. That was going to let it go deep right sideline. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Peterman. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Are you ready? Back to the air, Peterman after the pick six. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. Ready up. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. I got one. Let's go. Here's Martin as they begin on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, Peterman. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching wishing hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable oh, target. Yeah. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Back now in the East Bay. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Nowhere. to escape and he goes down this has been a tough one for this offensive line it appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game the way they've been pushed around six sacks given up in this one well the pressure too great and he goes down once more Von Miller in there for the sack Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. 
And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They run the counter with Martin. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Now on second and 13, Peterman. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this. What's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Well, hey, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly... They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Will Parks. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close. One score game, trying to push the ball down the field. And score, and you throw a pick. A little bit of a gamble. Got it. 47 Mike. Mike, 47. All day, baby. All day. Let's go. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw is Peterman. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Peterman. And it is incomplete. Now Peterman on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller able to record his fifth sack of the season. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you're in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Bradley Chubb, his second sack of the night. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason. Once you're ready, go ahead and select Advance Week to get to your next game. Big numbers. Big numbers. Bag. A big Start your week by installing your game plan. Big numbers. Whole yeah. 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 Hey, foreign cars, foreign, foreign.
foreign seats with the foreign leather. Yeah, yeah. Foreign number, put the card in the ATM in the set. Era. Yeah, flex mode, this ain't Southwest, this a jet. I ain't gotta shut the cell off, cause the iPhone don't got a jet mode. Bad be pressed though. If you wanna come, let's go. We ain't going nowhere special. I just wanna see more dress though. Get you throwing, I'ma catch those. Mexican dummy pesos. Get you sus, I'ma praise those. Number save, no name though. Wrist man, check the wrist man, got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, pass the pig scam when he stretch a distance. I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards. You just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me because I blame she can't count on him. She tried to be nosy and hit up my ex. She like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more. Tell him we 